Hi guys, my name is Horam and today I'm going to have video for Angular built-in pipes. Pipes in Angular are just like the pipe in real life. They receive input and they transform the output in a proper format. In the video, I will have pipes like uh, date, currency, decimal and so on. I will also set the local information with the local ID so I can transform the input with the local requirement. Okay, now let's see how we can start with the pipe. So for this, we need first of all template expression and then we need a symbol, a pipe like symbol. Here we write our input. For example, I'm going to write Horam, which is my name. And here we write the name of the pipe. So I'm going to say uppercase. This is a pipe. This is input. Now I'm saying, please convert this string to the cap capital letters. So let's see the result. And here I have Horam. All are capital letters. We can apply multiple pipes at, at the same input so one more lower so here i'm saying first convert to the capital and then convert again to the lower letters so the output will be lower letter and it's here now let's see more example and it is now instead of the lower or upper i'm going to use title case and it convert just the first character and if i put the space well, Shahzad and then it K and the S they both will be capital letters you see K and S by the way this title case works with the space so if, if I remove the space now only K is capital S is again small so that's it how the how we can start with the uh, pipes now let's use one more important and it's a date and for date, I have a two day. This is a variable which actually I have defined here. And it's just getting the date, right? And now instead of title, I'm going to use date pipe. And let's see the result. And it's showing the date. Okay. Now we can apply next parameter. And here we can say short, short date. And it has just date and we can also show the full date and it have full date we can also have the time let's say let's say a medium any medium time and now we can see the time it's showing that three five and so on we can also have ourselves defined format for example we can write here we like to see the month and then comma we can uh, then day and a year so let's see the result so february 26 2023 and we can also add the zone and now we have the zone so actually we can define the self format now one more thing let's uh, let's see we have a medium date i mean the idea medium date we have a date and next move to the uh, let's next now let's move to the next parameter i mean actually is oh uh, zone so we have two medium date and let's see the difference first is february 20th actually to see we have to have the time because this is a time zone so time capital okay so it's one uh, 319 s 290 because it's showing the gmt okay next parameter actually for this we have to have the date so let's have date and now i'm going to apply the local information why because sometimes we uh, in some countries actually they don't format in this way this is a default us format many countries like denmark germany they they form a different way so let's see here i'm going to add the local information about denmark but for this first i have to import this and here i'm going to do import register yes and one more let's say import local and i'm going to have for denmark from uh, let's see here yeah. local and Denmark this is for Denmark code 
and now I'm going to register register local data and here is a local which I have defined and the second is da dot dk which is the forehead and mark now we have import and registered now let's back to the here and I'm just going to define here da dk now let's see the results so here I have a February 26 but when I change and send the local information so is 26 Feb 2023 so this is the way we can actually implement our local information so we can have the format as our local users now next uh, pipe is uh, let's say the decimal so I am going to have same let's say and for decimal let's say I have a number 125.125 yes and let's delete all of them for a second and it's also this one and which pipe number okay so now I'm going to apply a the decimal and this is the fine okay one more and now I'm going to define the format so I'm saying before the decimal there should be there should be minimum two digits and after the decimal there also uh, minimum one but maximum two digits so this is before decimal minimum this is minimum after decimal and this is maximum after decimal so if we see this number this is fine this is also fine but this is wrong because i said maximum two digits so these are three digits let's see how it will format so one to five point one three so we have the they have actually increased because it's five okay so this is actually how we can define our numbers and this is called the decimal pipeline one more thing in denmark instead of the decimal point we have decimal comma so again we need local information so i'm going to apply one more and it is actually this time the again da dot dk so now let's see it so see instead of the decimal point we have decimal comma now let's see one more uh, pipe which is a currency pipe and it's also very commonly used so let's copy and uh, instead of this number i'm going to write here currency and i'm going to delete all these parameters okay so, so now let's see the result so it has 125.13 dollar okay that's good by default currency is also two of two digit after the decimal okay we can also change we can now i'm going to add the next and i'm going to say instead of us and the canadian dollar because this is a code for canadian and now the it says canadian dollar one two five and so on okay let's add one more parameter and it's i'm saying show me the symbol actually now so now instead of canadian is just remove and make it simple and by the way we can also add our self code so we can write i mean canadian dollar hopefully the spelling is right d o okay and just remove this one now let's see okay 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 canadian dollar and so we have it canadian one two three five one two five point one three okay and one more we can also add actually the format so i'm just saying uh, before decimal it, it should be minimum four digits and after oh let's say zero two and two minimum two maximum two so it will be zero because that's four so they are the four digits before the decimal so zero comma one two five dot one three okay so this is how we actually define the currency code currency pipe now let's have for the denmark and uh, let's delete this one tdk and that's fine and let's say minimum one maximum two two that's fine 
and one more i'm going to add the local information which is da dot da slash dk so now i have this one symbol narrow okay so now we have this one one two five comma because they use comma one three crown so this is a symbol for the danish currency this is the currency pi which is very commonly used and, and we can add local information to actually customize for local user but the thing is this local information we are using at different places here one two three and so on we can change at one place for example here and the provider i can write here add provider provide and i'm just going to say local let's say local id and use value of the say class and here i'm just going to mention da not dk so now i'm going to provide here and it will change for all even i don't need to mention here let's see so even i have, I have removed here and also but it's still working but but no problem is it has changed for everything for example here it's in the danish but where we have if i remove this one so now it's in english and it's english format so the thing is we can provide the information here in app module but we should use this very carefully because it will just change the whole that's it <clears throat> that's for about the built-in pipes thanks for watching bye